Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's just me, Cheryl and Tommy. <laughs> I thought I'd bring you along just through the week on the stuff that I'm kind of doing, you know, for my new little shop. It's Shezzy Handmade Designs if you didn't watch my last video. I've got an order I put together. I've got some scrunchies that I need to make and just whatever else basically comes up during the week craig's been doing nights so he's currently asleep at the moment so i can't use my desk my desk is in my bedroom where i've got all like my packing stuff and i do all my polymer clay and just other bits there but i kind of do it because he's in bed which is a bit annoying but it is what it is so yeah i've just had an order and um, well i got one yesterday and the lady ordered some of my fringe hair clips which i probably could do with putting them right now because i'm pulling my fringe out so yeah i should really wear mine but that's what she ordered they're like a lovely pink holographic glitter they're proper juicy looking i think so she just ordered them but today i put up like a special offer for the rest of the week where if you place an order just any like order per person and um, you receive a little pair of star earrings in just a random color so because she ordered this yesterday i thought i would just pop these in for her Excuse me, do you mean? <laughs> just gonna put this order together. I'm gonna take it to the post office. I'm gonna take the kids out, kind of burn some energy off because they're off this week for the Easter holidays. Um, and then I think I'm gonna make some scrunchies Scrunch. later. Yeah. Describe. <sighs> Hi guys, so the most that I've done so far today was take a parcel to the post office. I actually haven't done anything else, but I'm going to get the sewing machine out soon. It's like half five and Eddie will be going to bed for about seven o'clock. So once he's in bed, Frankie and Tommy will just do their own thing and I'll be able to concentrate on kind of just concentrate on the sewing machine basically i ran out of elastic so i ordered some off someone on etsy so that's going to be coming in the pool so i really do need to get all the scrunchy tubes made up so that i can just put the elastic in and do the final sewing i cannot use my sewing machine in my bedroom because it's too noisy for the kids on a night time and also i do want my polymer clay upstairs and i don't want like all of the fibers from all the fabrics just constantly getting all, all my stuff by my polymer clay so i decided to put a trolley downstairs and have like my sewing area downstairs on the dining room table. scrunchie making the scrunchie making's been going really well up until yesterday when i come to like thread all of the scrunchies with the elastic i just wasn't happy with this elastic that i had bought um it's just it's not the same elastic as what i bought last time and i i didn't really realize that it was slightly different it's children again i was stretching it you know just to make sure everything was all right and then i noticed that it kind of really easily stretched like half an inch out of shape quite quick because i was measuring and then i threaded one of them through the scrunchie and i noticed that once it was all put together i felt all right but you could only stretch it so far and then it stopped it didn't have that like extra stretch you know if you really wanted to push it and try and twist it like an extra time you kind of do it with this elastic it's just not i just don't like it basically i really don't like it so i've ordered the one that i would normally use but because it's good friday tomorrow 
they probably won't get you at like Tuesday or Wednesday next week even though it says that they send them out first class I very much doubt that I'll get a delivery on Good Friday but you know it is what it is so I've got like 50 scrunchies just sitting there that need to be all threaded up and like elasticated and just a quick little sew and then they're done but on a positive note I've ordered some more fabric I ordered let my print fabric again the last let my print fabric that I got was poly cotton it's nice don't get us wrong but I just I like the feel of cotton better than poly cotton and um, I didn't realize it was like much of a massive difference but they're totally fine do you know what I mean but yeah this let my print is just 100% cotton not poly cotton so that'll be quite nice Ooh, I had to show you these I've just received these two orders and they are just so lush and obviously this week like I said special offer week so a free pair of studs get put in each box as well and I just love them I'm back in me same spot guys on my bed all of that but um I'm actually going to go in the shed so a lovely lady's just placed an order for a key ring and um, I've got alphabet key rings on my shop and these ones are a little bit different to like the normal alphabet resin key rings. I'm going to say they're a little bit different, but they are. They're a pink leopard print design, which I hand paint. So it's not like stickers and anything like that. I hand paint all of the pink leopard print we sell. And it is a little bit time consuming, but they come out looking like really, really nice. So she's placed an order for a letter G, which I'm dead happy about because I was actually just about to remove them off the shop. I've already re removed them off the shop once before. And I was just going to kind of get rid of all the letters that I already had pre-made. But then I just kind of thought, you know what? Like, it was one of my first kind of designs of any kind of, you know, like key rings. And I really, really like them. And I do put a lot of time and effort into them, but I want them on my shop. So I kind of, I don't know. After this lady placed it all, I thought, no, I'm going to keep them. Like, I'm just going to keep pushing. I'm not going to give up on them. You know, one day they might actually start flowing. But yeah, so these key rings have three different processes that they kind of need to go through, or four different processes. Um, I have to do like a layer of resin, then I have to hand paint them once the resin's set, and then I have to do another layer of resin. And then I have to screw the eye pin in and secure that and all that. So I've already done the first layer of resin. And I've hand painted the letter print design. I've done about six letters and um, just so I've got a few extra in my box because I do actually like having the letters pre-made. So if someone does place an order because it can take about anywhere between three to five days to make these key rings. So if I have them already pre-made, I can just ship them out a bit quicker. I don't have a lot of letters pre-made, but I've got a couple, do you know what I mean? So it comes in handy. I thought I'd take in the shed with this. It's not amazing, guys, right? Like some people have these rooms and they look like really, really good, but I stand in the shed with all the spiders. It's a bit dark. I've got, I've, I've probably put me, I think I'll put my heater on tonight that I've got. I need to get that out the box and I'll probably take my ring light out with this. And I'll just show you. I dress like a proper tramp when I go in the shed. Like I've got a most minging hoodie and these really old scraggy trousers and I stand in my wellies. But, yeah. Come on, let's go in the shed, how are we? Come on, come on. some mats so when i do my polymer clay i normally use like baking paper and it's really kind of annoying because it crinkles and 
I just think they take a bit of a waste on the environment. You know, I keep like, I try and reuse it, but when you wash it and that, it doesn't always wash well. I just don't like using it. So I ordered some mats, like some bacon mats off Amazon and I forgot I had them. Yeah. I've not even opened the package yet. So, just open it up. I think it, I can't remember exactly how much they were. Apparently you can put these in the oven. A lot of people like on the reviews and that there was quite a few people basically saying that when they put theirs in the oven they were kind of like burning a little bit and going a bit funny but the temperature i think i only go up to i think certain it that i'm using at the moment is like 130 degrees so it's a lot lower than what most people kind of bake cookies and stuff like that in so i've got three mats two of them seem to be the same size so i've got like a small purple one the red one that must be where you put like your cookies on and a blue one. I'm kind of struggling when it comes to, to like cutting my pieces. So if I cut my pieces on baking paper, they don't stick to the baking paper, they stick to the cutter. And then I have to try and get them out the cutter and I normally leave like dints in the polymer clay pieces. So I find that like doesn't really work very well for me. Then when I stick the pieces to a tile, like when I roll my clay out onto a ceramic tile, and I do the cutting, it's great because the pieces stick directly to the tile. But then when I've been trying to move them, because it's only like a really small tile, when I've been kind of like getting me, me blade and I'm trying to, what's a blade called? I don't know. So when I've been getting like me little blade and I'm trying to kind of, you know, like scoop the pieces off, um, I'm kind of gouging at the back of them. So I'm ruining a lot of the backs of my pieces. And I'm trying to re-sand them and I'm getting like big dints and that in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. so I'm kind of like gouging in the backs. <laughs> I'm not very good at kind of like scraping them off the tiling. I just don't like it. So I know that you can just roll your clay out onto your ceramic tile and then put the tile into the oven. You know, like you don't actually have to move the pieces, but then you get a shiny back on the backs of your polymer clay pieces. And I don't want a shiny back. I want it a little bit more matte. So I thought if I get these, I might be able to just cut the pieces on these mats and then just put these on a baking tray um, and put them in the oven. I don't know. I'll have to probably do some tester pieces, you know, to see like the like kind of if the if it bakes them properly. Because I normally just put my pieces on like a preheated ceramic tile. Um, so I'll probably have to do some test pieces. This one's probably going to be like a good size for me to use at the moment because I don't really roll out huge slabs at the moment. I just do small slabs. I'm more of like a one-off kind of earring person at the minute. I haven't kind of grown to that level, you know, where you can make collections and you have repeated customers getting certain earrings. So yeah, oh, it feels weird. It's like not sticky, but ooh, it doesn't move either. That's good though. Hi guys, so I'm just going to finish off this vlog here. This was like my first ever studio vlog. Doesn't seem like a lot, but I am going to grow, I promise you. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on the bell so you're always notified when I post a video because I will be posting a few more videos. And fingers crossed I've just got lots more to show you. I'll see you soon.